All right. Well, the economy seems to be firing on all cylinders. And yesterday's report on wholesale inflation was tame. So should the stock market be even higher? It is a question we put to Lindsay Bell, CFRA investment strategist, and David Nicholas, president of Nicholas Wealth Management. They join us now. Good morning. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. All right, I'll start with you, Lindsay. Hey, Not morning. a happy Friday if you're looking at uh, stocks this morning. Of course, the impetus to sell today coming from overseas, Turkey uh, in particular. But if you look at how we um, are trading here in the U.S., uh, the Nasdaq is up eight days in a row. That is the longest winning streak we've seen this year. Uh, do, do you think the economy should be even, the stock market should be even higher because where's the inflation, right? GDP looking good. Should stocks be higher? Well, you know what? I think we, we you have to remember the S&P 500 is about a half a percentage point away from its recent all-time highs reached in January of this year. So I feel good about where the market is. GDP in the second quarter was outstanding. We might see a little bit of a pullback in the third quarter, um, given the export number that was in the GDP. Um, but overall, the fundamentals here in the U.S. are very strong. Earnings for the second quarter at about 25 yeah. percent. We're looking at 22 percent. For the whole year, the consumer is feeling confident spending is on the rise and retail sales have been very strong. So I think that what you're seeing here, though, is a little bit of a, um, an overhang from trade. So I think that's really what's holding the market back. So, so David, do you think that, you know, this 4% growth, uh, some Americans starting to see higher paychecks, all the positive things, could the tax cuts could be wiped out by the tit-for-tat spat uh, with trade going on with China? Yeah, it's a good question. You know, consumer confidence, all-time high. Unemployment, close to 20-year lows. And so one of the things you mentioned, I have clients that ask me all the time, David, you know, is a recession pending? Should we be nervous about a recession? So the good news is, is that the probability for a recession is at all-time lows. But one of the things that could push us closer uh, to the probability increasing for recession is things like you know, trade wars increasing. And so, but the, the good news, though, is like we mentioned earlier, is that you know we don't see any fear in sight for a, that heightened risk of recession. Mm -hmm. But investors need to be careful because when we're at the top of the business cycle, which is where I think we are, right. you know, we just have to remain vigilant that this 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 bull run is not going to last forever. And it might not. And you brought up the R word. I wasn't going to do it, David, but it is in a Wall Street Journal article today uh, where they talk about how this 3% economic growth that they expect and predict their survey of economists say 3% growth this year, it's not sustainable. If you look at the numbers, they say that's expected to go to 2.4% next year and 1.8% in the year 2020. At the same time, they say, uh, economists see an 18 percent chance of a recession beginning in the next 12 months. Lindsay, what do you say? Well, even if we do have a recession within the next 12 or 24 months, which is not what we are predicting, we do expect growth to slow given the robust growth we're seeing this year. It's a little bit of a pull forward. But the recessions that we have seen in the past have been milder. And that's because we've gotten so much better uh, from an economic standpoint. We've become more stable and steady. Uh, our economy is much more services oriented. And that is a key component. We've been better at managing our inventory. So of the last 11 recessions, nine of them have only, you've only seen the market fall by about 25% on average, which sounds like a lot, but we're up more than that in the last year. So what do investors do today, David? Well, I think uh, you want to remain bullish. This is a great time to benefit from markets appreciating. But if you're approaching retirement, uh, I know a 20% loss may not seem like a big deal, but if you're in retirement or approaching retirement, that can hurt. So you just want to remain vigilant, uh, take advantage of these growth in the market. But if you're approaching retirement, remain cautious. You might want to have a portion in cash that can get you through a year to year and a half of living expenses. And there is caution today. David Nicholas, Lindsay Bell, thank you. Thanks so much.